Okay, uh, so you understand your training model is always uh, following the only one there is. You're going to utilize stress to generate an adaptation. The potential for that adaptation is always within you. It's not something separate from you, okay? Um, but it is something that you have, you do not have access to, okay? Then you have your training equations, right? So uh, the more stressful the cultivation field is, the more needed the adaptation is, the more needed the adaptation, the less likely you are to cultivate it. So there's this balance that you have to do, okay? Um, but it doesn't change just because we're working at the physical component or at the energetic component. So we're gonna look, we're gonna utilize this training model, this cultivation model, energetically, all right? So when we talk about the energetic component, we have to remember that Aikido's uh, epistemology is concentric. And so the, to get you in the ballpark, you want to remember uh, so above, so below, so out, so without, so within, okay? So outside, so inside. So you can look, for example, at the energetic component externally in terms of yin and yang. So remember what we're trying to do is two things, the lower level thing or the entry level thing is harmonize yin and yang. And then the higher level thing is to reconcile yin and yang where they cease to exist, okay? So if we, why we need to harmonize yin and yang because if you don't harmonize yin and yang, you can't lead to a reconciliation of yin and yang. Okay, if you, if you want, you could understand the ultimate harmonization of yin and yang is a reconciliation of yin and yang, okay? So a contradicting yin and yang will never lead to a reconciling of yin and yang. So if we look at this externally, for example, um, he stands up and will work from the clinch so you more understand it than if we put it in kihon because you have all kinds of magical powers in Kihon, okay? Which are not real. So if we're in the clinch and we're shoving at each other, do you see? This, I have Yang energy and he has Yang energy. So here, it kind of looks like it'll work because we're in that stalemate, do you see? So martially, but energetically, it's a Yang Yang clash. Okay? And when you have a yang yang clash, because yin and yang is relative, whoever has more yang is going to make the other one yin. Do, do you understand that? So if you come out, and uh, we, we push into each other, you see, you push into me, and I can, you don't have enough yang energy to overcome me. You automatically, by default, become yin. Okay? So, what we do in an external harmonization of yin and yang, as he pushes at me, I'm not going to just let him out yang me. I'll harmonize with him, and he pushes at me, and I move. Every, as soon as he pushes on me, I move. So, he pushes, I move. And that yang now I can utilize, you see? So if you look at what I did, in the clinch, I have Edimi Nage right here. Do you see? It's right there. So as he goes yang, I yield, you see? Start the turn and then redirect his yang energy into the throat. Okay, so it's not, it's not he pushes, I push on him and then I decide to go. It's right when he pushes. Okay, let's try that external harmonization of 
matching yin to his yang. Okay, let's try. Okay, uh, you might have seen the other post on Gono Sen. Okay, so Gono Sen is a timing, but people incorrectly identify it as I wait until after his attack to do my defense. Okay? That's not it. I go after his initiative. Which is different. The attack is the end of his initiative. Okay? So, for example, if I'm here and he braces on me, do you see? In the Yang Yang clash, come back, go a little slower so I can talk. So we're pushing into each other, and that's gonna allow me to pop this up and hit with my shoulder, do you see? Where was my initiative? If you pay attention, it's right here. It's over now. The attack is the end of my initiative, what you see as the technique. My, my initiative started here. You understand? Okay, so, regarding Go No Sen, energetically, it's when he pushes into me that I disappear. I match yin to yang. Do you understand? It's not he gets down, goes slow, he pops, and he hits me. It's too late now. It's too late. I'm not going to get the guillotine. I'm not going to elbow him in the back. He's compromising my balance. Do you see? This is not go no sen. This is just losing. Okay, you got it? So, as he try, as he's trying that, boom, that's where I go into the yin, okay? So he's trying that and I go into the yin. If you pay attention, it's really at the origin of his, his, what I feel. If I wait to see it, his initiative has already manifested, okay? So, it's when I feel it. There he goes. It's really at the level of intention. It might look to you like I moved first, but he knows he was coming in. Do you see? And that is Gono Sen. I moved after his initiative, and it made it easy when I went external yin to his yang. Okay? What you're going to find is I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, okay? Let's try it. So there's the, there was the yang yang clash, did you see? So you can see you're late. Do you see what happens? Okay, so again, in La La Land of most Aikido Dojo, he would never go so far there would not be enough stress and the required adaptation to feel the initiative 
when it manifests, you see, not at its conclusion, like the end of my Shomanuchi. It's here, here, at the level of intention, the initiative is started. If you wait past that, you're too deep in the water, you're just gonna get nailed. Okay, you got, you got that? You're, you won't find your solution, okay? So, uh, he's doing, he's doing Shomanuchi to my head, right? And as long as I know what he's trying to do, then it's possible to go, you see? But when I don't know what he's going to do, you have to respond to that true initiative, not the final manifestation. So he goes Shomanuchi and you're already way out of the way. It already happened, okay? If we change the, the attacks, for example, and we're sparring, if he stays still and I already got the angle, do you see? This is already the initiative. He doesn't know what's coming in yet. Do you got it? So I, he can't game the system of giving up his flank here, right? Because it comes with all kinds of fakes and fakes. Boom! He thought high, and I went low, okay? So instead, if we're, we're here, we're sparring, I move on the true initiative, which is the start of his setting up of, of his attack. I wouldn't ever wait here. He gets whatever position he wants, and then I expect to get out of the way of this thing. That's not going to happen. I respond to his true initiative at the level of intention. You see? That's what we're trying to do. So here in this back to our adaptation model, if I can't feel his initiative, then I'm going to lose, okay? So we increase the stress to reveal that lack, lack of adaptation, okay? We can do this, and to me that's an energetic adaptation. To feel someone's intention is an energetic adaptation. It, you can't see it, you see? It's not a physical thing. It's an energetic thing. I can feel it, okay? So another way to increase the stress for the energetic adaptation and to tell whether the adaptation is present or not is the following. So uh, we'll, do, we'll do this technique, okay? Um, let's peel this off. Peel this off, come under, come around. Peel it off, boom, under, around. Okay, let's get in the ballpark. Okay, so I was using, I, I thought in the last example, it's more, more overtly, externally, a reconciliation of yin and yang, you see? And then to understand that, that reconciliation in Gono Sen has to happen way earlier than we might think, okay? But in the technique, if you paid attention, you would, you would know there was a lot of internal reconciliation that was happening. Here in this technique, I'm going to make it such that it's going to be more revealing of the external reconciliation that's happening, okay? So, uh, but we do have one one kind of um, more overtly or easily, more easily to see on video, an external reconciliation of yin and yang, okay? So I can't out yang that arm on him. I can't make this thing come off of my neck, okay? Bouching. So she has her neck hold, you see, and I can barely get that off, but I was able to get it off. So that might be my technique, you see, and I come around. But again, you try that on Taylor. You, with your left hand, try to clear your neck hole. What? Not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen because that's a yang yang clash, but he has superior yang. You will be the losing, the loser on that, okay? So, what, you, what I'm doing on the first one, he holds really tight. 
I feed outside all of this. This hand is not being utilized. It's just in an IP adhesion, which I'll demonstrate later. And I go around these fingers. You see? And the hand falls. I'm not shoving the hand down. I go around. He's got it really tight. There's no way I could get that off. So I go around the fingers and the hand falls and I connect to the hand. Okay? So that's where I see some of you are losing the hand. Okay? But let's pay attention to you. You'll have to feel it and I will try to demonstrate what's going on. Okay? By exaggerating the stressor. So here, this is me externally pushing into him. What I'm doing here is his yang energy. I'm grounding it. And I'm actually in his center now. So the same movement, for example, let's say uh, you, you uh, try to move your hand like you're going to. Uh, maybe you need to come around. Like he's uh, going to punch me. Go ahead. Okay, did you see that step he took? Okay, so I have his center internally, and just by the simple change of his geometry, he, he lost his balance, and he had to put his base of support back under him. Did you feel that? Okay, it's not, he goes to move his arm, and then I moved him. So you're gonna watch the same thing, maybe look for me, I don't move. He moved his arm, and it took him off balance, okay? For you, as I'm training you, I'd like for you to feel that. Do you feel that? Okay, so he goes to move his arm and he has to step to regain the balance, okay? That means he's actually in a state of Kazushi internally, do you see? He's off balance in the sense that he does not have control of his balance. I have control of his balance, which I did internally by harmonizing yin and yang, okay? So uh, another one is, uh, let's say he tries to pull back out. So he tries to pull back out, okay? So same thing, he goes to pull back out and same thing, his balance gets lost, okay? It's not that he goes back out and I try to shove him down. I have his center already, he goes back out, it just makes his balance go, you see? So. Likewise, uh, that is my opening, because he's in Kazushi, okay? So we'll slowly do the first one. We're gonna wait, till, wait till you feel it, once you feel I don't have you, you see? And then once you feel that, you feel that? Okay, slowly move your arm out, boom, there's the groin, you see? Here's his balance, here's the throw. So, what I'm doing for the stress is, don't move, Dave, don't move. Have a center, he moves. Boom, makes his balance go off, and then you have the throw, okay? What you'll find, if you don't have your center, if he doesn't have my center, don't try to connect to it. And I can just move freely without losing my balance, okay? So let's try that one.
Okay, so we're, we already know from Go No Sen that the initiative already happened, right? And so the idea that you're actually going to move when you feel or see my arm coming, that's not going to happen, okay? So as we're here and uh, she's trying the technique, don't let me punch you, you see? Imagine I have a knife. She can never move fast enough. Do you understand? So this is where the internal aspects are very martial because I already have him internally. We know externally, but I already have him in Kazushi internally. And as he moves, I still had him. It took him off balance. And so as he goes to strike, boom, I'm already knee kicking him from him being in Kazushi. Yeah, the idea that I'll be able to move, it's not gonna work, okay? Same thing goes, we can add the stressor of, I have less base, you see? Internally, his energy needs to come inside me. It's yang energy, I bounce it off the ground, it comes back up as yin energy, it generates my tangden, and I use that tangden to do whatever I wanna do martially, okay? So here I have, no base, I'm on my toes. You do not need anything but a pinpoint to bounce it off the earth. So you don't need the bracing angle, you see? You can't be here, okay? And so he's driving now, and I don't wanna go like this. He's driving, and we're just here. He's pushing. You see? You feel that? Right. He's driving, he's driving, he's driving, he's driving, he's driving. Okay? If I go, 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 go. If I let it go, he'll push me over externally. Okay? So, increase the stress by decreasing my biomechanics. He's trying to push, and I just ground, 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 ground. Whoa! Keep your balance. Round, 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 round. Bring it, he's gonna ride me. Okay, try it, go. You wanna be on your toes. On your toes, without leaning. Hey. So, what you what you're seeing internally is not not necessarily a harmonization of yin and yang, but a reconciliation of yin and yang. Okay. So that's why you see no movement in my body and it generates a, a, an outcome on him physically. So for example, in that first drill, when, when I have his center and he goes to move, it starts to take him off balance, okay? And I didn't have to move. All right, so same way here, as I come back and I am, I am stuck on him as he's stuck on me. Right, so last time I used it passively with Go No Sen, as he went to punch, that's what brought him off balance and into the opening. But you can do it with the initiative timing, okay? So as soon as I feel him press, boom, that gives me that connection there, and you could use the same connection internally to move his whole body, right? Without doing it externally, okay? without having to move around. Just boom, let it go, and you're carrying it throughout the whole technique that way. Okay, let's try it out. So likewise, in the technique that I'm doing, once I peel, we're stuck. You see, so I could peel and not leave his balance there. 
I can move his balance as I move his whole body around, you see? And that's where I can do my peel. And we're stuck. So here, I won't move. I'm not grabbing tight. But if he pulls and I'm external, I'll have to pull back on him. If I'm internal, then this won't pull me, this pulls him. Do you, you get that? So I'm just stuck here, stuck here, stuck here. All that gets internalized and without moving, it moves him as he resists it, okay? I'm not cranking on it. You feel how relaxed my hand is, okay? So same thing. So he can't pull his arm away. He'll lose his balance and I'm stuck to him. But you don't see me bracing for the pull. You see that? That will have me pull. Pull. So as I come off, oh, we're in the ground. We're in the ground now, and that moves him. So as I move, it moves him. As he moves, it moves him. Okay? Without me shifting and bracing against the pulling energy. So we're increasing the stress, right? Because ideally, partially, if he pulled my arm, I should go in with him, you see? But energetically, I can increase the stress and I'm neutralizing it internally. Okay, try it. So did both, right? She got out and you tugged on her and it brought your base off. Good. Same thing. Do you see that? And that's what will happen. We'll lose our base and we'll lose our connection. Good. We'll increase again the stressor on the edemi. Okay. So as I, I, have, I have him in Kazushi right now, internally, I peel off here, we're stuck in an adhesion, and I come around, okay? So same thing, if you look at this arm trap, it's, it is externally not much of a trap. You see that? But this was even less of a trap. But because of that Ike adhesion, he's stuck, you see? So it would be the same thing. See, as he tries to pull, it takes him off balance. But it's not that I'm pulling on him. I'm just internalizing his energy, okay? So now what we're going to do is we know we have to edemi me behind him, right? Okay? So my weight, my ground vector is going to change. It's going to change onto this foot over here, okay? And we'll exaggerate his pushing. Externally, I would yield here, right? But for uh, cultivation reasons and observational reasons, uh, you can see I don't have a base of support. Do you see? There's no base back there, okay? It's all grounding, no different than when I was on my toes. It's all going down. Do you feel that? Okay, so same thing. I will exaggerate as I come on one foot. He's, he's pushing. Go back. As I come on one foot, I'll exaggerate. It doesn't matter that it's one foot. He still can't push. He still can't push me over, okay? And that whole thing moves into his body, okay? So, I'll do it again. Whoa, you can test here. Hey, can you pull? What happens to him, right? You come in here, same thing, he goes to pull. What happens to him? I can exaggerate the ground vector. Over here, he's pushing with no base of support. 
and I can exaggerate the ground vector by compromising my base entirely. Now we're still stuck. That still adhesion is still there. So when I move, I move to take him into the Kazushi pattern. Do you see it? Do you see what happened to his body? Okay. It's not that he's there. Then I go here and then take him. He's pushing on me. As I come around, push hard. As I come around, I use the adhesion to take him into the Kazushi pattern. Okay? Try it. You're driving into them, yeah, there, do you see? So that was the external base. And so she's able to manipulate it because she has the mechanical advantage. No base of support back there. Continue, we'll let you pass it. And then you keep driving, Baoqing, and you'll see you'll never get that foot in Irimi. Yes, do you see? Driving into that Bad biomechanics. Yes, there you go. Do you see? So there we muscled her. Do you see? Do you get that? So all, all these stressors, the increase in stress, you see, it's such a level of stress that for your levels, it, the adaptation is so needed, you're not going to cultivate it there. Do you see that? But it does show that you can test for the adaptation, do you see, as you increase the stress, or at least the quality of the adaptation, okay? But I would also put in there the presence of any of it, okay? You can do that. Um, I also think, though, that once you have the skill, you can observe what someone's doing. Once, once you know how to do this energetically, you can watch someone else, even on video, and go, I know what's going on. Okay, but when we don't have the skill, we only look at it through these external eyes, and maybe in Aikido's uh, realm, also these non-martial delusional eyes, such as what is go no sen and things like that. Okay, but if you watch, if you watch now for the technique that we're doing, I mean, he can, he can feel where it's soft, right, and uh, still doing what I'm doing. Do you see that? So what you'll find as you do it is you'll get pushed back because you're entering on somebody who's pushing on you. Do you see that? But I'm doing internally, it's a yin-yang reconciliation. You get that? As his yang energy is coming into my body, I do not have to externally move out of the way. So I can actually go forward as he's coming forward. Do you see that? And I'll get the same result without actually touching his hip like in the first technique. He will come up off the ground and he will fall into the same technique in very much the same exact Kazushi pattern as the first technique. Did you guys see that? Okay, give it a shot.